Hey bunny! Welcome back! Oh my goodness, I appreciate you guys so so much. You have no idea. Like you are back here for another video. Wow, like I I like I love you. Thank you. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are here for the first time, hey, my name is Honey. If you are here for a while and you have been watching my video, that puts you in the same category as the people that I hear for the first time. Please, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, I'm waiting. Are you done? I'm gonna give you like a good five seconds. Go hit that subscribe button because we post bangers. And today I'm coming here. I'm coming to you guys with a banger. And it's fun. It's a challenge that I want every single Namibian YouTuber to take part in. So if you are a Namibian YouTuber yourself, or you are just a Namibian or just any other YouTuber or just a person that likes to browse YouTube, you have some favorite Namibian YouTubers that you like to watch. Please, please do me a huge favor by tagging your favorite Namibian YouTuber in this comment section down below. It's the same way you do a tag on Instagram, on Twitter, or on Facebook. You use the ad sign plus their YouTube channel name. It's that easy. So, why do I want you to take your favorite Namibian YouTuber? Because this is a challenge that I'm going to start and I want you to involve, involve your favorite Namibian YouTubers in this challenge. So please uh, take the moment to think of your favorite namibian youtubers and by the end of this video i want you to take your favorite namibian youtuber in this video and tell them to take part in this competition in this um challenge so it's not a competition it's just a challenge it's for fans and games so um namibian youtuber if you are tagged in this video please don't ruin the fun join the challenge do the ta um do the challenge because it's really fun so let me introduce the challenge to you guys so I have this brilliant idea, you know. <laughs> um, the idea is that we are Namibians, and as Namibians, we are diverse. We are a country with so many tribes, so many traditions, and we are all different. We all do things differently, and it's just amazing to watch and to live and to be part of a generation like that. So, in celebration of Independence, which is like uh, way gone by the time this video is up, but still, Happy Independence Day! Um, in celebration of that, I want to challenge Namibian YouTubers to do this challenge. So, basically, the challenge is a never have I ever, which is an existing challenge. But then, the thing that you have never done or have done has to be a traditional thing. Something that Tamaras do, something that Hereros do, something that Ovambo people do, and something that Namo people do, Bastards, like something that is unique to your tribe. No, um, this thing can be like a lot of variety things. I will show you guys an example of that in this video. Mine will be in a Herero since I'm a Herero girl. So yes, my my okay. The whole video won't be in a Herero. No, it won't be in Tamara or like don't go make the video in your native language. No, you basically just say never have I ever, and then if the thing that you're trying to say doesn't really go in English, you say it in your native language and then you immediately direct translate yourself to english so that the other people can take part and you know find the excitement in the video as well so once you direct translate yourself in english then you say if you have or have never done the thing you can do this with your cousins your friends your anyone that you'd like to do this video with i'm alone so i'm gonna do it alone i don't know why i'm moving my hands so much but i'm so excited about this video so i messaged a bunch of my Herero friends and I asked them some of the traditional things that us Herero people do that um, I could include into this video so you could do the same as well with your friends and your subscribers people that are from the same native language tribe as you so let's get into the video the white background for me <laughs> so the first one that we have on this list is never have i ever worn a traditional dress yeah. so i did it the opposite way i basically just said it in english now i'm saying it in a you can do it whatever way you can 
mix and match it yeah but do the challenge will you so no i have never worn a herero dress like yeah i'm that girl firstly i can explain this like i haven't worn a herero dress because for you to wear a herero dress there's um a ritual that you have to go through so you basically have to go fit the Oshiherero headpiece through a traditional ritual. I've never done that ritual, hence I've never worn the Herero dress. But at this point, I'm getting to that level where I'm like, nah, I cannot be that girl, that, that lady that's, what, 25 and has never worn a Herero dress. Like, at this point, I'm about to wear that dress without the ritual. Period. Like, I don't know what to do. Moving on. So... So never have I ever lighted the holy fire. Holy, it's not necessarily holy fire, but this is what the white people like to call it. So that's how I'm going to direct translate that. Uh, no, I've never lighted the holy fire. It's just because we don't have the we don't have it at my grandparents' village. Yeah, where I came from, we don't have that like. No, but not to say that my family doesn't have it. My family does have it, but it's just not at my grandfather's homestead. So I've never lighted it. That's a story for another day. I can't explain why it's not there, but yes. Never have I ever dated my cousin. Barora, pohiarora, ogote wa yomura mwanchi. I'm gonna sit here and proudly say yes I have. If I had the chance to marry him, yes I would. <laughs> the pride in that sentence. But no, yes, I've dated my cousin. Not marrying him, obviously, since we're not dating anymore. But yeah, I would marry my cousin. But yeah, if something else comes that's not a cousin, I'd also marry it. I don't know why I'm speaking of it in that term. Next one. Barora. So never have I, uh, never have I ever worn a omushira is basically, I will insert a picture for you guys. Yes, that's, that, that's the omushira. I don't know what it's called in English. There's no word for that in English. It's basically, I, I'll insert a picture for the ladies version and the men's version of what omushira is. And yeah, I've never worn one. Barora po hiarora okunwa omairi. Never if I ever drank omaire. We all know omaire, right? It's rotten milk. Rip, r milk that's gone bad. But not the milk from the shop, please. It's the milk from the cows. It's different. It's not the same. Yes, I've drank omaire. I love drinking omaire. I have omaire right now. I can go grab a cup and drink for you guys. No, but not on the video. But yeah, it's a process. <laughs> It's a process I didn't prepare it already. I can prepare for you guys on my day. If you want me to do Okahambeya, Okahambeya is like my day mixed with some water and it's a, it's, it's, it's a beverage. It's a hetero beverage. If you want me to make that beverage for you, Okahambeya, let me know and I'll make it. So the next one is Barora Pohiarora Okuria Ombuena. Never have I ever ate Ombuena. Basically, Ombuena is the meat. It's, it's our push gift. <laughs> Ombuena is the hetero version of push gift. So it's basically a sheep that is slaughtered for the, the, the lady that just gave birth. And then she eats that meat with her cousins, her sisters. Basically, it's meat that you enjoy with other ladies, you know. Ombuena. Yes, I have multiple times never given birth myself. But I'm also waiting for my push gift. We eat each other's push gifts. As it was. Ombuena, not good. We eat each other's push gifts. Next one, never have I ever dated someone that got married, that got that came back married from a funeral. <laughs> oh, you guys, this, my, my people were coming up with the real question. Um, nope, not that old <laughs> yet. But hopefully, I don't get to go through that. And no, I do not want to get married in that way as well. But to those that are married that way, um, congrats. That. That's the thing, it worked out for you. Oh, uh, good for you. Me, on the other hand, I'm not getting married in that style. Opa, Oma, never start me. I'm not getting married in that way. Nah, it's not happening. Next one. 
Never have I ever talked in a funeral home. Barora po hiarora ukukarira mnjuo yomari mnjuo yomari riwa ah ah. Ita ni makusangeli mnjuo hapo. Mnjuo yomaha mino. Yes. So no, I have never done that yet. I would like to learn how to do it. It's a whole art, you guys. It's it's not just a friend a something that you just wake up and you know how to do it, or you just go sit there and you just start crying. Like I've been in the house, I've cried in it before, but I have never like cried out loud. Like there's a certain way to do the crying out loud. I don't know how to explain it to you guys in English, but the heroes get it. And no, I haven't done that yet. Okay, let's move on. Never have I ever dated a close cousin. No, I haven't. Like the cousin I dated wasn't close. Okay, he he wasn't close. He is a close cousin, but it's like a cousin I never knew until we dated. And yeah, only after we dated did I know he's a close cousin. But not that close. Also, it's like grandma's grandfather's sister's. Child, child, those are things. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, let me be serious. <laughs> let me be honest. <laughs> let me come clean. So, the cousin that I dated, man, his, his grandmother and my grandfather are siblings, basically, I think. Or their parents are siblings. Somewhere along that line, so it's up to you to see if it's close or not. Okay, moving on. So, I don't know how to try to translate this to English. But basically, it's not... Guys, don't come for me. This is my translation, my, my version of events. So basically, never have I ever been introduced to the ancestors. Or like being... The ancestors were being told about me, about something that's happening to me. Like I may be going to the UK. So the ancestors are being told, hey, our daughter is going to UK. Or like I just, um, I'm going to university. So take care of our kid. Something along that. That's my translation of Okuravairwa. So um, yes, I have. I think it's when I was named. So... I'm sure every hero child that is named through the either Wakaravairua Mumu Vanda, that's now basically the the version of a holy fire when you don't have a holy fire, or you were named at the holy fire. If you went any through any of those, then clearly Wakaravairua. So you have you have had been introduced to the ancestors. I hope hero people are not gonna come for me for this video, but that's my version of understanding. Okay, next one. Never have I ever had water spit in my face <laughs> by my grandparents or by my elders. So, I don't even know the hero version of that. But basically, what happens like when you are at a holy fire, or when you are at the Momuvanda, this is the second version of the holy fire. You don't have a holy fire. Um, when you are there, after the grandparents are finished with the things, they talk to the ancestors and everything is done. He basically takes a cup of water, he puts it in his mouth. I don't know if he uh, uh, mixed the water in his mouth or not, but he puts it in his mouth and then he spits it at, at, at everyone. So that one, not the full cup, but however much he has in his mouth can go for like four people or three people. Then he goes again for the next round of people. But yeah, that thing, I've had that before multiple times how many siblings do i have and all of their namings when they're all being given their names i well, i hate that being done to me so not a big deal at all it's okay it's whatever next question never have i ever danced oshina so oshina is basically the hero traditional dance and it's fun it's amazing but i never dance it because i don't know how to okay I don't think it's that hard to do it, but it's mostly the big people that know how to do the things. <laughs> that do the things. You don't just find a young person in the middle of the crowd doing that. It's like scarce, very scarce. Maybe young people should start doing this. Like, Vanashi, Danda. Okay, moving on. 
Never have I ever escorted a bride. Barra po hiarura okurira omutiki. So yes, I have. A, no, I'm lying. Oh shame, honey. No, I've never escorted a bride. Um, escorting a bride is not being a bridesmaid. It's basically it's not a bridesmaid. That does this. It's the person that does this. Is the person in the the next person in line to become married. It's basically the person that catches the flower for the white people. No? The, the 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 white the western culture i guess i don't know how to name that but you know how they throw a flower the person that catches the flower that's the person next in line to get married so for us herero people the person what is basically the person next in line to get married that's my understanding of a mutike correct me if i'm wrong and basically this is the person that escorts the bride to the groom's homestead the home with the bang I spoke, I'm done. Yes, that that that's what they and no, I've never been there. Person, I'm the eldest in my family, like the eldest grandchild in my family. So I'll first have to get married and then that has to happen since I'm the eldest. Expected of me, but yeah. Let's move on. So never have I ever milked a cow. Oh hell yeah. I've milked a cow multiple, again, okay, not multiple times, but yeah, not that many times like I would like to, <laughs> but yes, I have milked a cow a couple of times before and never have I ever milked a goat. <laughs> the people are coming through with these things. I've milked a goat a lot of times, maybe more than I've milked a, <laughs> a cow. Yes, we do milk goats and if you didn't know goat milk is way better milk for tea than cow milk i said what i said As and always. i'm not changing on it okay that. i said what i said it ain't changing no and i stand non-corrected for that one like that one ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing about that like uh-uh you won't tell me goat milk is way better than cow milk for your tea, so stick to the gold milk for the tea. You won't regret that. Or Katego got that. So let me just say, maybe for the tea that you make here in Venduk, I don't know about that. But for the tea that they make at the village, ooh, child, that tea with some gold milk, the slapping. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the next question. Never have I ever. Oh, mbaro rapo hiaro ra okutika odongombi. So this is basically never have I ever not taken care of the cows, but basically escort English direct translation escorted <laughs> the cows to go eat me either in the wild or at the camp where they go eat like wherever they go to go eat. Never have I ever done that or have I done that. So, yes, I've done that multiple times. Ukutika, Kukahira, Korui, English. Escorted the cows, took them to the water point to go drink the water. Not the one that is at home, the other one, the, the communal one. I've done, I've done that. And the other one is... Never have I ever ate on domo. Baro rapo hiari ra okuria on domo. So what is on domo? You may ask. On domo is basically the meat me that you eat when you're coming out of the graveyard at a funeral. After a funeral, when you get out of the graveyard, as you are going out, everyone is given a piece of kama meat. Sorry, no, it's not meat. Okay, it's a branch of a tree. The tree's name is called omuyapu. It's not a branch. You can, yeah, it can be its branch. It can be its root, but it's basically a piece of that tree. Omuyapu is the name of the tree. And it's uh, a, a tree or a branch that you chew on. Not the tree, man. It's a branch or a root of, a, of that omuyapu tree now that you chew on when you are living. <laughs> when you are leaving the cross. <laughs> Uh, not the crow. Why am I speaking? Uh, I can't. When you are leaving the graveyard, honey, focus. Okay, moving on. Never have I ever ate intestines. You don't eat intestines, then I don't know. Ooh. If you don't eat intestines, then I don't know about you. But this girl here 
loves aura intestine so best 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 mm, mm, mm. such a nice meal just try it aura 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 is the intestines large and small omatangara omatangara is the matangara matangara namibians please come for me here what is omatangara in english omatangara is the stomach the, the back of the stomach i think Moving on, never have I ever barura po yarura okunikora. Okunikora in English is gathering. So you know how the sons and the and the, and the, the sun people were hunters, hunters, hunter gatherers. So the gathering now, the going to look for food in the bush. Yes. I've done that multiple times and I enjoy it. And that's not like maybe the best childhood memories that I have to be honest. What else did we use to Nikora Hapo? Just to name a few. Come on. Moving on. Never have I ever bitched at an important uncle. Well, this is a whole story for another time, but this child here, okay, yeah, uh, I'm out of here. I have bitched at an uncle, but like, I'm not so proud of myself for doing that. But, oh, we have bitched at an uncle. Next, moving on, never have I ever called my parents by their names. Like, who the heck do you think you are? So let's let, let's get this out of the way it's just a traditional thing not even traditional i think it's every african tradition you don't call your parents by their real names you, you are looking trapped like why do i just see them like hey like uh, what? i <laughs> no even sitting here sitting here and trying to bring it out me like i <laughs> nah let me tell you, like, I've always thought my grandmother's name was Titi. So that because we used to call her Titi from like a very, yeah, from since we were birth, like we used to call our grandmother Titi. Didn't, we didn't even know that Titi is basically a name for sister, but everybody was calling her Titi. So we just called her Titi, our uncle, we used to call our uncle Buti. I think I was in grade two, eleven, grade high school when I learned that Buti is your brother not your uncle your uncle is omo like i knew it but i was like why do i call my uncle Buti like brother while he's not like because it's just it's just how it was and with hereros you are most likely to call your grandparents by then they are like uncle of and then the not the richest but the well respected uncle in the family which mostly tends to be rich let's just be realistic so in my family my grandfather like we used to call him uncle of the name of now the rich, not the rich but the well-known famous i don't know what you want to call it what you want to call it uncle so we never call our parents by, our, by their names by whatsoever means nothing nah, nada unless somebody asks you what is your grandmother's name or what is your mother's name and it took me being in grade 10 11 12 somewhere there to know what their real names were too so moving on Ooh, this one is nice never have i ever met a guy at a family event liked him assumed it's my cousin only to find out it's my brother <laughs> Ooh, i really wish this doesn't happen to anyone but like if this happens to you now ah man i feel you no this has never happened to me necessarily per se but i've dated a guy for like years i never thought he was my cousin i just thought it's those guys were not related at all but then he turns out to be my brother slash uncle from like another family a family different surname everything different so we still continued anyways and that didn't work out we ended up breaking up anyways well sorry shot yeah I, I don't know if i should say i have or i've never because i never assumed the guy was my cousin more so i don't know moving on 
never have I ever called my parents by their real name. I just answered that one. Never have I ever. This one is just in Oshihero. I can't say it in English. Barora po yarora okuimbura o matangiro. So never. Oh, in English, never have I ever um, sang Oshihero gospel music, basically. Matangiro. Yeah, I have. Like, I know of a few. But, yeah, I have. Okay, guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are just as excited to take your favorite Namibian YouTubers in this video. Let them take part in the challenge. Let them join the challenge. Because I think it's fun. Period. Like, I just think it's fun. Whatever tribe you are, don't hesitate to take part in this video. So, guys. Do the most, come on, go into the comment section down below, go take your favorite YouTubers and YouTubers. If you are tech, you gotta take part in the video. So, do the video if you are tech. It's very simple. You just type the ad sign the same way you do it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That ad sign plus your favorite YouTubers, YouTube channel name. And it will be that easy. They'll be notified and they can decide whether or not to take part in the challenge. Don't force them, but I really hope they do take part in it because I just think it's just amazing that we can be part of a country this diverse and still understand each other and still work together. And look at us. We are an independent country. We are in we are celebrating independence. Can you imagine that? With so many differences, we are living as one country as we are coexisting with each other, you know, despite all the other, um, not to be mentioned in this video, because this is supposed to be a fun video. We are still able to coexist and still work together. So please, please take part in this challenge, whether you are taked or not, and you're just finding it fun and you want to do it. Please stop. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. If you stayed in this video all the way to the end, give it a huge thumbs up because that only means you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned for the videos that will be at the end of this video so you can bench watch more videos, especially if you are here for the first time and you haven't seen them. Stay tuned. Watch them. Bye.